Hello, this is Stefan from Conductor, and welcome to this video on the introduction of KSQL DB. So we've seen how we can have sources that are introduced into Kafka using Kafka Connect sources, but then we want to do some stream processing, and we've seen how to do it using Kafka Streams. We can use the Java API, or we can write, even write it in Scala if we wanted to, to transform data from within Kafka. It is possible then for us to use Kafka Connect Sync to send the outcome of the stream processing into some sync targets. But to write this Kafka Streams application, we wish we had a simpler method than just running a Java application. And to do so, well, we can use KSQL DB. KSQL DB is going to allow us to write SQL for our application. And then this is going to in turn generate an internal Kafka Streams application that we can leverage to just do some stream processing. And the idea is that SQL is a much easier way than Kafka Streams to write applications. So this is why many developers prefer to use KSQL DB. So this is a project from Confluence. And this comes from the fact that writing Kafka Streams application in Java is complex, but writing a SQL query can be understood by many people. For example, here we are creating a, a stream from a join on another stream. So underneath the scene though, Kafka Streams applications are generated by KSQL DB. So we get the same benefits as Kafka Streams, such as the scale and security, but we have an easier interface using SQL. So what can we do with KSQL? Well, we can do some real-time analytics dashboard for a driving game, for example. We can correct, uh, correlate the, sorry, the behavior of the cats and flying planes over your house. So for example, your cat makes a lot of noise when there is a flying plane over your house. This is a cool uh, use case from my friend Simon Aubury. And also home automation, for example, notification when the heater is on to also get some information around whether or not your house is optimal. Okay, so how does KSQL work? Well, your computer using the KSQL DB CLI or conductor are going to be talking to a KSQL DB server and we're going to launch a KSQL DB server. Actually, it's already launched for us. And then Kafka Streams applications are going to be generated in the KSQL DB server, which in turn are going to talk to Apache Kafka. So that's it for the introduction to KSQL DB. Now let's go ahead with some practice in the next lecture.